Hey friends, this is Tina and welcome to my new video. So in this video, we are setting up my July theme in my brand new notebook. And I'm actually so excited about this theme. I think it turned out to be my all time favorite. But before we get into the setup part, let's just quickly look at the notebook I chose for the second half of this year. And of course, if you saw my last video, you already know what notebook it is. But if you didn't, I chose this Mellow Days Reverie notebook that has 160 GSM textured watercolor paper. And let me tell you, this is perfect for painting. If you want one, you can always use my discount code DINA10 in their website to get 10% off, while I also get a small commission. But let's get into the setup part of this video. And by the way, if you didn't see my new bullet journal setup yet, I will link that video also in the description and in the cards above the video. So for this theme, I chose to do kind of like a tropical theme. I was in a bit of a hurry, so I just tried to come up with a nice kind of tropical inspired color palette. And I went with some tropical animals and flowers and plants. I wish I had more time to research for this whole theme, but I honestly just didn't. But I tried to look at different websites and see what kind of plants and animals, for example, go with the word tropical. But for my cover page, as you can see, I'm painting two parts and I actually had so much fun with this. You will see later, but this theme became really, really minimalistic, but I really love that. I think this is one of my favorite themes that I've ever done. And I feel like this style is straight up my alley. I sometimes definitely go with more detailed and more out there themes. So I'm happy I kind of stuck to the basics with this one, even though I still tried out something new and went with fun color schemes and different kinds of painting topics. But yeah, as you can see, I'm using watercolor for this. I've just gravitated a little bit more towards watercolor lately because I feel like if I want to do things a little bit more simple and I just want my paintings to be a little less detailed and perfect, I usually like to go with watercolors because I think that look is so much easier to achieve with watercolors than gouache, at least that is for me. But yeah, I'm painting these two parts sitting on a little tree branch here and they both have blue head and the like underbelly, I guess, and their like chest is orange and then they have green wings and the tail part. Do parts have tails? Um, <laughs> I should have researched for this video. <laughs> And you can see how I started building up the colors a lot. First, I went with really light layers and I just started building the darker colors on top. And lastly, I just went with like full on black to some of the uh, most shadowy details of their body. And I did actually end up adding quite a bit of details and I worked on some parts quite a lot, but it still was really quick, which I liked. I like spending a little less time on my painting sometimes and this definitely was one of the fastest themes I've ever done. I only spent one day on this which was amazing and that's one of the reasons why I like this so much. By the way, don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you would like to see my themes up close and see more photos of them. And if you like my content here, I have the same name there as I have here. As you can see, I was making the small details here. I made some details on the parts faces and I also started working on the beaks. I was using this size 6 round brush that came with the set that I'm using and I actually think it works really well with even the smallest details, so I really like that. But the eyes for these parts was definitely the hardest part. I definitely noticed how first they just didn't look natural at all and then I just tweaked them a lot, but I think it's totally fine in the end. I went with some white gel pen around the left part's eye because the black paint just like smeared all over their face. So yeah, that was a little bit harder part, but I think I still managed it quite well. But yeah, then I started working on the actual tree branch and this was definitely a fun part of the painting process. I just tried to make really organic kind of patterns to the tree and just tried to make it really natural and not too dark as well. 
I often have the problem that I tend to go with really dark colors sometimes in the beginning and then it's obviously hard to go back. So if you're painting anything, I would always suggest going with some lighter colors first so it's easier to build everything up later. But then lastly, I added some little leaves around the tree branch. I think that really gave it a fun look as well. And it also didn't look that boring anymore. I think it definitely made this painting a lot better. But yeah, that is it for the painting. It was a really easy process. And then we are going to make the little header for this page. And this part of the whole setup is really inspired by my lovely friend Mihaela. I really hope I said your name at least a little bit right. <laughs> but yeah, she's a great friend of mine in this bullet journaling community and she made a gorgeous setup for June and I love the way she made her headers and she also added this colorful paper in her setup so I definitely was inspired by that and I wanted to do that as well. I will link her social media platforms down in the description, by the way, definitely go check that out. But I used my Mothwing colored acrylograph and made my July header for this page. And I really like how minimalistic that looks. And I, for some reason, have never thought of using acrylograph marker as my uh, pen for my headers. But yeah, for the left page, I decided to make my calendar and this was an idea I never thought I could even do again. <laughs> so I just took this peach colored paper and just glued it onto the page and just made my calendar grid on top. I did not add any little boxes for notes or anything. I never really even use them. They are just there to take some space from my page. So having this really pretty minimalistic calendar just was a great idea in my opinion and I also just love how it looks when you just make it on top of a colorful paper because you really don't have to add anything else to the page but yeah then I just wrote the dates on top and that is it for my cover page I really love how this turned out and it was so fast to make which is like I said always a big plus but next we are setting up my trackers page. I really like that one as well. I think that is definitely one of my favorite pages in this setup. So I decided to paint something on the middle of the page and I also just wanted to change the layout a little bit because I've been using the same layout for a long time now and I just wanted some sort of change in my life. That's what I definitely felt in May especially and also in June even though I've been more inspired to use my bullet journal now. But I just wanted to do something different now that I have my new bullet journal notebook and I can like start a new chapter almost in my life. I decided to make this big palm leaf here in the middle of the page. If you have followed me for a longer time, you might remember that I did something a little bit similar or actually quite a lot similar in my August setup in one of my like brain dump pages. I really love how that one turned out. So I just thought that that would kind of fit with this whole theme and take a lot of space from this whole spread. The painting process was also pretty easy in my opinion and again didn't take that much time. So what I did with this painting was that I first just colored all of the leaves with this green watercolor and then later I started building the colors again by making the roots of all of the leaves a little bit darker. And especially the root that is connected to the stem, I made that extra dark and I just kind of dragged the darker color from the root to the tip, making the tip of the leaf a little bit lighter in color. By the way, I know that my video this time is super short compared to some of my other videos. Usually my videos are like 30 minutes long or something like that, but this time, like I said, I just didn't spend that much time on this whole setup, so I just didn't need to make it 30 minutes. I really hope this will bring you some relaxation to your day anyway. Maybe it's also a little bit easier of a watch if you don't have maybe 30 minutes to spare for watching a YouTube video, so I really hope you like this anyway. I was a little bit busy when I started making this video because I am heading to my parents' house 
um, at the end of this week to celebrate midsummer so I just tried to get this video done pretty quickly and I'm happy that finally I actually managed to choose a topic that was not super time consuming because I feel like each time that I try to do that I still end up spending like 15 hours on one theme so I'm really happy that this was a little bit of a easier setup. But lastly for the leaves I just made this little vein in the middle of all of the leaves and that was it. I think that really turned out pretty even though it definitely didn't take that much time to make but if you are planning on painting something like this yourself and you have never done that before I would highly just suggest looking at a photo of a palm leaf or just looking at your own plant if you have one because then you might be able to understand how the leaves naturally go and droop. <laughs> so yeah, it might turn out a little bit more realistic, but at the same time, it does not have to be realistic. But when I was done with the actual painting, I started making the spread itself. And I wrote tracker on the left side of the spread and then I just made these small calendars underneath. Again I used the same colorful paper and I just glued these little rectangles here and made the grid pattern on top. And I also wrote mood on the right side of the spread and made a little line chart mood tracker on there as well. But that was it for the super simple tracker spread. Even though it was again a quick setup, I really like how it turned out. I think it looks really pretty and I'm really excited to actually use it. But next we are setting up my memory spread. Again, this is one that I set up in all of my videos pretty much and it doesn't change all that much throughout all of my videos. So I just wrote memories with the same font on the middle of the page and then I just wrote July below that with a cursive font. And then I started making my boxes for the whole spread so I made 31 boxes for this month and it just means that I will write or draw or glue something to each box each day and then I can look back at this spread and see all the things that I did that month. Sometimes when I don't have the time to fill it up each day I might just make a little sketch for each day and then I can fill it up later when I have more time but I really love looking back at this spread. I think it's so much fun to see all your monthly memories in one page. This is definitely a spread that I would highly recommend you in some way including in your bullet journal setup. And especially if you are into the memory keeping aspect of bullet journaling like I am. But that is always really fast to do. I don't really spend that much time on it. So it's already time to set up my next spread, which is my content planner spread. I painted a little hibiscus flower here on the right side of the spread. I was kind of terrified when I started painting this because I was not really sure what I was doing. I don't usually paint anything like this with watercolors because I know that I'm not always the best at creating more realistic looking watercolor paintings. I usually just like to almost make these doodly looking things with it, but I think it turned out fine in the end. It kind of took a long time to get there, but I'm still happy with it. By the way, I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but I use a lot of reference photos for all of my paintings this month. Again, when I'm making something like flowers or animals that I try to make somewhat realistic, I always have to look at some sort of photos because I couldn't draw a parrot from my imagination in a million years. <laughs> I couldn't probably even draw a cat from my imagination, so I always have to look at reference photos. But I will link some reference photos that I use for this theme uh, here in the description box if you want to also see them. I mainly use photos from Unsplash as I always do. 
but around the flowers I just painted some of these random green leaves and I again just made the root part of the leaf a little bit darker and overall just made them in a really messy style. I didn't want to spend too much time on it or make it perfect or anything but I think it just kind of worked with this painting as well. By the way, as always, I will try to link all of my used products down in the description, so definitely go check that out if anything interests you. I don't have the paper that I used here because I was just bought from a local random paper shop, but I think you will be able to find something locally to you as well if you want to have a similar look. Hibiscus flowers also have this kind of interesting center antenna. <laughs> I just used white quash for it, but in reality, I think it's definitely a little bit different in color, but yeah, that's fine. <laughs> On the left side of the spread with these huge letters, I wrote content planner. I wanted to accentuate the headers in this whole setup because I think it just kind of made the minimalistic look look even better in my opinion so that's what I did I also just freehanded them after I made my sketch but I always made a good sketch beforehand I always explain the same thing in my plan with me videos but I use my content planner spread for uh, planning and tracking my social media posts and this is a really useful spread for me especially the calendar part because I just need it I have so many posts all over the internet to share in, in a week so I definitely need to always make that to kind of keep my life organized and I also make little boxes for video ideas and post trackers and tasks and things like that like I always say you can definitely use the spread for any type of projects or schoolwork or things like that so feel free to use your imagination if you want to include this page in your setup But now that spread is done and it's time for my most minimalistic spreads in this whole setup. So I decided to do a summer bingo page in this setup. I think I've again seen Michaela and for example T and Bucho do a summer bingo type of spread in their setup so I decided to do that as well. I did not do any type of bucket list for the second half of 2022 so I thought this was a good alternative especially because I love summer and there's always so many things I want to do. So I just made it super simple. I glued these rectangle uh, paper pieces into the spread and I just wrote the header on the top part. And I left the page on the left side empty for now. I think I will include something like notes or I might do my playlist at the end of the month there. I don't know. I will just leave it empty for now because I just did my playlist spread in my uh, June summary page on my own time. So I cannot really do it now because I already included the songs in that. So I might do it at the end of the month. But I just included something like trips and eat strawberries, go on a swim, have a picnic, things like that in my summer bingo and I really hope I can do most of them. <laughs> But now it is already time for my last spread in the setup. Like I said, this is a record fast video. I have never done uh, a plan with me video that is this short and quick, but I'm happy with all of the spreads that I made in this one. So I'm really excited for that. So in my last page, I decided to paint a bird again. I think birds are definitely the easiest kind of animals for me to paint. I think they are just somehow a little bit more straightforward. <laughs> I just feel like when you are painting some other animals, if you mess up even the tiniest bit, the animal might look nothing like it actually looks like. So I feel like birds are a little bit easier to paint because you can definitely make a couple of mistakes and it still looks like a bird. So yeah. So I think the bird that I'm painting here is called Goldian Finch. 
it was a really beautiful bird and it had a nice color to it so I decided to just go for it and paint it because I think it also kind of matched some of the colors that I made in my cover page as well. Making this theme felt really refreshing because I feel like sometimes I try to make more complicated themes in order to kind of serve the audience that I currently have on the internet, which might sound a little bit weird, I know, but I think many other artists can definitely relate to that. You know, you have some sort of niche and you are trying to cater for that. But I think sometimes it's good to realize what you like doing and what serves you. Because when you don't have that much time, just make something you enjoy and it's a little bit less time consuming. I have to say I really enjoyed this painting process so I will definitely be doing something like this in the future as well and I really hope you like that as well because I would love to have you around and yeah be here whatever I end up doing. <laughs> Some last little details I added to this painting was making the tree branch and I also made these really small green leaves again. I really like how they looked and they always kind of made the painting look a little bit more interesting. But yeah, I just finished this spread up by making this little July header on the left side and then I just made my boxes for all of my days of the week. The weekly spread layout I did here kind of accidentally turned out to be really similar to one of my weekly spreads from June. Sometimes that just happens. I actually didn't realize that until I was starting to make this. I also glued some of that peachy toned paper in the spread because it always made the spread look a little bit better than it was before. That was just a quick and sweet video. I really hope you like this theme that I have for July and I would love to know what theme you have chosen if you have already thought of one. I really hope you have a fun rest of the month. I know that I have a lot of plans, so I really hope all of those go well and I also get to have a lot of fun. But yeah, now we are getting to the end of this video, but quickly before that I will just flip through all of the pages that I made in this one. I really hope you liked this video and if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave a thumbs up and leave a bird emoji down in the comments if you are still here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!